this I did earlier with silk covering on the bottom. Smoothed it out, let it dry. Now I'm just going to finish making sure that the edges are well adhered. Do you apply anything to the framework or do you just use the... Yes. Okay. A little bit of the um, polyurethane that we used. So you just apply that straight up? That. Just around the edges or to everything? Just I just put it around the edges where I wanted to make sure that it will stick. Okay. Because the fabric itself was if you put heat to it, it's a lot like monocoat. It'll stick to it'll stick to the wood framework without any anything special. So the extra poly around the edges is just a little a little, sure. a little insurance. Insurance. All right. Make sure that where I tack it down, it stays. It stays well. So. If you've covered, if you've covered a model before with some sort of iron-on fabric, you can probably handle this this part of the job. I would, I would think so. And this is, this is also silk, right? This is silk. All right. Hard to beat a straight-edge razor blade. Nice, nice fresh one. Yes. Well, I buy them by the hundreds. <laughs> yeah. And then it's just trimming like you would trim. I see you employed some uh, bamboo in this structure. Yes, it makes strong stringers out there. So strips, strips of bamboo. And where do you uh, where do you get bamboo stringers uh, from? I, I I I got them out of old window pole blinds, roll up blinds. Right. And just, they split. You can just split the bamboo into strips, and it's stronger than basswood, and about the same weight as basswood. Of course, if you're really, really keen on reducing weight, you'd use balsa, but uh, uh, for this purpose, as you can see, a few stringers would be, uh, <laughs> my opinion. The savings would be minimal compared to the compared to the uh, structural strength that you'll get from the bamboo, especially a, a stabilizer like this, which is very thin and quite large. So now we're ready to cover the top of your stabilizer now we're gonna with some of your prepared silk. First of all. I'm going to put a little, a little uh, glue along the edges, and I use a squeeze bottle just because it's because it's easier to work with. Let's see. We won't tell mom about the drips on her table, right? No, no. What she doesn't know doesn't hurt her. <laughs> I think we can clean it up before she knows. <laughs> I used to go to bed before 10. I thought it was about 9.30. <laughs> you know, get a nice even coat. I just use my thumb. It's handy. And the nice thing about using this uh, water-based poly is that it really doesn't smell bad at all. If we were using anything with a solvent, oh. Mom, who was in the next room, would be having a having a fit. Oh, she would be. She'd be out here, boy. 
What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, the old days of the old days of dope are done for me. I just told my wife it's no worse than fingernail polish. Yeah, if this is true, it's lacquer. It is. Hey, I read the ingredient list on some old fingernail polish that yeah. I've been using down in my workshop, and yeah. that's a that's a chemical that's cocktail. That stuff. That stuff is. I can't believe that stuff is legal. <laughs> It's the wicked. Yeah, I find a little bottle of uh, clear nail polish with the applicator brush in it, which of course all nail polish has, is an extremely handy little thing to keep around the workbench just for tacking down edges of covering and hardening up little balsa areas or I don't know, just use it all the time. So now that's ready for... That's ready. We're going to let this dry though. It works better dry. All right. Here's, here is soap that's dried and kind of peeled off the glass. It's thoroughly dry, it's bone dry. But I want to work with it damp. Not wet, but damp. So this is just a damp rag. Again, just to get it to relax a little bit. Oh, I really well, lay flat. Like the five. No one has ever tried so, I to dampen it. raw silk and apply and it to an open structure. Heaven help them. You know, <laughs> it is it is very 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 trying, but with it you know, sealed, it makes it a lot easier. easier. Again, we don't want things wet. We just want things damp. I feel like I'm not very good at it as an athlete. I don't find, I don't think, it's, it's hard to really get... Is it hard to work with when it's damp like that? Yeah, I'm not too... Looks pretty, looks pretty stable. I'm kind of a yeah. I am with you, Gretchen. How well does this stuff go around curves? You want to pull everything taut. It's not going to go around compound curves. Which is fine. But you can see that it, this way it just lays flat on a structure like this. Small curve like this is no problem. I hope I got a better pair of scissors. Pull it off the glass, there's a side that'll be shiny. That's the side that was next to the glass. And the side that'll be matte, that was the side up that was dry. You want to put the shiny side down. Because that's where most of the most of the latex is. Right. And you get better at heating. If you do it the other way around, it's going to be difficult to get this to stick to the framework. It's tempting because you get that nice shiny surface to put that out. But shiny side down. You will have a lot of trouble. <laughs> shiny side down. You can always take this side and coat it with another coat of urethane or future, for example, and make this side shiny. Also. And it can be done later. 
And we, when you say future, you're talking about future floor polish. The Johnson future floor polish. All right. That makes a nice shiny surface. <laughs> you want to put that on last, though. All right. So right now you haven't done anything to the silk after you've peeled it off the glass other than get it damp. It dried. Oh, yeah. I'll read. Dried thoroughly. Just dampened it so it relaxed. So now all you need to do is tack it around the edges? And all I need to do is make sure it's all smooth because it will shrink slightly. And and that's a good thing. And it's a good thing to shrink slightly. It'll pull, it'll pull a little bit. Now but this on a structure like this, it won't pull so much that it's going to distort the framework. And this won't shrink with the heat at all, will it? Mm, not really. Can you, can you, can you tug it? Yes. Tight as you're putting it on. Yes. Okay. You want to make sure that it's pulled tight. All right. It's laying, laying smooth, as smooth as you can, smooth as you can get it. Now, is it sticking at all at the moment, or no. is it? Oh, it isn't. Okay. So you really do have stick. to, you really do have to put the heat on it you to get it to, to stick. All right, where to start? Wherever it's convenient, I guess. Start on this corner here. This is snug. Wow. I'm not pulling hard, just making sure it's snug. I don't need any pressure to speak of. Just the weight of the iron. You're basically just heating up the glue and it's heating bonding. Glue. And it's bonding like contact cement would. And you get those two urethane surfaces together. A little heat. Six, just like contact cement, but it can be lifted. It's not that you can't possibly lift it. So I usually work the iron outwards a little bit, so I'm not pushing the fabric inward and causing causing bubbles this way. So I first adhere it. I just work it this way, as you see. Now you told me earlier that you've prepared pieces of silk, what, four or five feet long this way? Yes, as long as, you can, as, long as the fabric comes. You need to make sure it's a glass. Okay. And in that case, I've got a big piece of um, glass out of the storm window. The, uh, storm door. Uh, storm door. Tempered. Tempered. Tempered glass. Big piece of temper, sheet of tempered glass. It's uh, just out of an old storm door. And that's, that's about six inches longer than the widest sheet of um, uh, fabric that I get. So it can cover a half of a wing, half of a three foot wing without any real problem. Four foot long fuselage. Okay. Now I said earlier, you make up for the little putsy business that you went through at first to get the fabric spread out on the glass. This is where it's paying off, right here. There's no pins, there's no dope, no, pins, no, no smell. smell, and when you're all done the silk's all sealed, and then you can just add decorations. Or you can add decorations. You can you can put the top coat on, make us because the um, one more finish to this will help shrink the mm -hmm. nylon silk. Or, yeah, of course. Yeah, in this case, it's silk. 